What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be bringing you guys a Series 2 Trick Room team with Screamtail and Life Orb Sylveon. You guys are in a deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But a lot of people who have been in the competitive scene have been saying Screamtail is one of the best trick room setters in the game due to its bulkiness and its ability to stay alive for a good bit. So I can set up the trick room and get rolling from there. So hopefully we get to showcase this Pokemon, pop a trick room, and get dominating with today's team. But let's get started here. Top left corner, Brute Bonnet for our first Pokemon for today's team preview. Brute Bonnet, one of my favorite Paradox Pokemon. Love its design, love its stubby little feet, love its little dinosaur tail. It looks amazing. It's got Protosynthesis and a Citrus Berry as its item and ability. Rock and Spore, Rage Powder, Bullet Seed, and Sucker Punch for two stab moves. Second Pokemon is going to be Iron Hands. Iron Hands is just absolutely amazing. Put him in Trick Room, he's 10 times better. This one has Cork Drive, Assault Vest as its item, Close Combat, Wild Charge, Fake Out, and Heavy Slam for its moveset. I like the moveset, but I would rather have Drain Punch instead of Close Combat, just so we had some way of getting HP recovery. It just works so well on Iron Hands, I would hate to change it. Third Pokemon, Screamtail over here. This is my first time using this Pokemon, but it seems pretty straightforward. It has Trick Room, Parasong, Helping Hand, and Psychic Fangs, so it can break screens, have Stab Damage, and Psychic tr Trick Room. It's kind of just there for that main purpose. It's got Protosynthesis, a little bit Beery Berry as item so it can eat up a Steel Shot, and then it can pretty much just go out from there. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Annihilate. Now this Annihilate right here was the staple of Series 1, and I feel like it's going to work super well on this team to allow our team to set up Trick Room. This Annihilate has Defiant and the Choice Scarf. It has Final Gambit, Close Combat, Shadow Claw, and U-Turn. The reason I say it's going to help us uh, allow us to set up Trick Room is because I can just go into Screamtail and Annihilate Turn 1, Final Gambit, get rid of one other Pokemon, and then pop a Trick Room, and at that time, Annihilate will die. I can switch into a Trick Room Pokemon, more so like Iron Hands, and just go from there. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Torkoal. Everybody knows Torkoal is amazing in Trick Room, and he's 10 times better in Series 2, considering he works well with past Paradox forms. He has Drought, the Choice Specs as item, Eruption, Heat Wave, Flamethrower, and Solar Beam for its moveset. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Sylveon, but not just any Sylveon, we got Life Orb on the Sylveon. Pixelate as its ability, and then we got Hyper Voice, Terra Blast, Quick Attack, and Detect. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on our rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Screamtail Trick Room team. First match coming at you guys, we're also going up against a Screamtail team. So two Jigglypuffs rocking out in today's battle. They also have Fluttermane, Gothitel with Shadow Tag, so I'm guessing that's Parish Song's uh, Screamtail. And then they have, what is that? Amoongus, Palafin, and Arcanine. So gotta watch out for that Intimidate. We got a few special attackers that can actually get us around that, but I'm gonna end up leading my boy right here, Screamtail. Let me get Screamtail out here. So Screamtail, get on out here. Might also lead it with either the Annihilate or the Fake Out Iron Hands. What would I rather do here, right? I mean, he does have Fake Out himself, which could be a problem. But I kinda just wanna go into Annihilate. I, yeah, I wanna go into Annihilate, just in case he wants to Fake me out, and then I can swap into my boy right here, Iron Hands. Because if he fakes out my Screamtail, then we still get off our final Gambit. We still pick up a KO, and we can kind of go from there. And then once he dies, if he fakes out my Screamtail, I can bring in my Fake Out user to set up Trick Room the next turn. So I'm really with that. So we're going to bring in them three. And then final Pokemon, do I go Torkoal, Brute Bonnet, or Sylveon? I kind of want to see their speed real quick. You're 54. You are slow. <laughs> you are slow, and you would you can work pretty well here. Sylveon's really not bad here either. I kind of like Sylveon. I kind of really like Sylveon here. I'm going to end up bringing Sylveon. I just feel like we need something to kind of counteract that Arcanine if it's going to be on the field. And I mean, Sylveon's not going to be the best, but it's going to be a little bit better than the other Pokemon. So I'm with it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I went up against this team before, and I believe like the concept of it is to like kind of get out Gothtail and Screamtail and just uh, go into a, what's it called? Like a Parasong and then keep everybody in the battle. But he's going to end up going into... Palafin and Screamtail of its own. So I feel like I just Gambit here, right? And pop a Trick Room. Do we outspeed that Pokemon? That's a real question. Do we outspeed that Jigglypuff? I mean, I'm 104, but I'm not maxed out on speed at all. I think we should still be able to outspeed. We got, we got my boy sitting here with, uh, with the Choice Scarf. So we should be able to outspeed here. Hopefully we have more HP than that thing. I, I probably should check my HP next to my Jigglypuff. But we'll see. He's going to end up protecting. So that's a pretty smart protect. Probably going to do a flip turn into me. And then go from there. We'll see. I know the Palafin protects here as well. That's totally fine. So we get off Trick Room. 
it kind of hurts a little bit because now he has speed over my over my annihilate. But I could swap annihilate for later usage. But I feel like we just saw a final gambit into the palafin slot. If it wants a hard swap, it can hard swap. But I'm just gonna double down in this slot. I'm gonna try to get rid of it. But I can't switch moves, right? No, I'm choosing the final gambit. But even when it hits protect, you cannot switch it. So I'm just gonna final gambit into the slot because I feel like they're gonna hit my annihilate just to knock off some damage onto it. Or they could actually counter trick him. You never know. You never know. But I would love to get rid of Palafin. Getting rid of Palafin could be really big for us. Yo, know, Scream Tail looks hilarious. It's just Jigglypuff with a flow. <laughs> with extra hair. Looking spiffy. I love it. And it's got a little tail. I don't think it had a tail, right? But does Record Jigglypuff have a tail? I'm not too sure, but he ends up swapping into Gothitelle here. Gothitelle is just straight psychic, I believe. No ghost with it. Psychic Fang's gonna fire. Chip up a tad bit of damage. She's gonna pop a Parasong, aren't you? You are gonna pop a Parasong, and that hurts. Actually, no. You're not. It, I mean, you probably are, but we can swap now, so I'm fine with that KO there. A little bit nice to take out Screamtail, but I'll deal with that. Now, is there Screamtail going for Parasong? Yeah, so he's gonna Parasong my Jigglypuff, which is not that big of a deal. It really isn't. Now I get to bring out my two Pokemon that I want to pop out here in the Trick Room. And get after it that way. I could actually go into Sylveon right off the rip. We have Rock Terror. That could be good for Arcanine. Which I think is going to come out here. We think Arcanine will come out here, right? I would think so, if he has it. But it's going to be Amoongus instead. So Amoongus is going to pop out here. I could deal with a little bit of Amoongus action. And he gets Spore Me, which is a problem. Could indeed spore me. I'm just gonna suck your fangs here and I might just detect. The Moogus is obviously slower, but I don't think he's slower than. Uh, we don't have Torkoal. Well, let me see your speed. Torkoal would have been nice. You are. The Moogus might be slower on the field. It might be slow on the field, but I might just pop a Hyper Voice. If I get off a Hyper Voice, I'll go for a Hyper Voice. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. I kind of like where we're sitting here. It's not, a, it's not a terrible spot. It's not a terrible spot. But if I had to guess, Amoongus is going to spore me, and I'm kind of hoping he spores my Sylveon more so than my Jigglypuff. But Jigglypuff's super effective onto the Amoongus, but he's going to end up Terrasalizing Amoongus. Okay. And what type are you going into? Straight Dark. That works for me. That works for me. That does work for me. There's Terrasalization. We are still trying to drop a Hyper Voice here, and he just straight up spores me. Going to be a pain. Going to be a pain. And Parasong is on my Jigglypuff right now. It is on my Puff. So my puff should go next. And Psychic Fangs is not affecting. Kinda sucks, but I wanted to get off my hyper voice. You're gonna disable my psychic fangs. And I can swap. Just so Jigglypuff survives. That might be my play. Parasong is dropping here. And if any turns to turn to swap, it would be this turn. Could pop a Parasong, just to force him to swap. That might be what it, what my play might be. Let's just set it up onto that Amoongus. Actually, I don't really want to. I'm gonna hope... Mm, I really want to swap, but he's put me to sleep. He's put me to sleep. So you know what? I'm gonna say screw it. I'm gonna go help you hand and hope that my... Hope that my uh, Sylveon wakes up here. We are going to hope that Sylveon wakes up here. But yo, Spore Moog is so annoying. So there's helping hand. We're gonna say, yo, Sylveon, wake up here. Quick naps, quick naps, girl. We're gonna go for a Spore. We saw that coming. That's exactly why I didn't want to swap it to the uh, Iron Hands. Let's go, Sylveon. Quick, quick wake up here. Unreal. Dude, I've been versing so much Spore Spammers. It's absurd. Player off coming out here, chipping up some damage. I've just been... Oh, it's been so ugly this recently. And you get the attack drop. It's all good. We're special attacking. So both of us drop down to that. Uh, How many turns left in Trick Room is the real question. One. You know, I'm going to swap into Hariyama here, Iron Hands, just so I get my... Actually, no, we're going to stay in here. Actually, no, we have to swap because we have Parasong on us. So I'm going to swap. I'm going to I'm gonna think that he swaps as well, and I'm just going to Hyper Voice down here. So I'm swapping my Screamtail. Hopefully, he doesn't swap his Screamtail. Hopefully, that just drops out the Parasong. We go from there. So Hariyama's out and about, and he withdraws his Screamtail as well. And we're going to see his final Pokemon. Watch, it's going to be Arcanine. I'm going to be so upset. Oh, no, it's Palafin. How did, did I remember that? Palfin's back out and about. Sylveon, I need you to wake up here and get off some damage. 
Amoogus protects you. Yo, Sylvia, I need you to wake up here, girl. Wake up here. Bro, three turn sleep. Absurd. 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 Um, okay. So from here, we don't have Trick Room anymore. But I have Fake Out Ready to Roll. And I feel like we just Fake Out you. And then we just go drop a Hyper Voice. It's our best bet. And then I can Quick Attack it down if need be. Because I do have that orb. I do indeed have the orb. So he ends up with you on a Moogus. That's fine. You're going to go back into Screamtail. So Screamtail is here. I might swap it to my Screamtail after this. But that comes out from the Palafin. This match, man. This match. Sylveon's guaranteed to wake up here, which is good. Fake Out's going to get blocked. And I might have to swap into my... My Screamtail after this. We'll see. Hyper Boy's going to fly here. It's going to get blocked on that uh, slot. And we're going to send it over on the Screamtail. So we get off a little bit of damage. He sees that we're orbed. Now, the real play is actually just a straight up swap. I mean, I do have Terra in the seal. I kind of like. I would rather set up Trick again. I'm going to save my, my Terra. My sleep. I'm going to Terra right here right now. Let Terran try to get rid of this Palafin. I'm just gonna detect the shot. Such a good battle, yo. We've been having some good match number ones. Good protects, good swaps from opponent and ourselves. We still have screen talent. Ah, oh, dude, it's asleep. And I think it's been asleep for one turn and one turn only. Which is kind of tough. But we're swapping straight into steel here. I just don't want the psychic moves or fairy moves coming into me. Dealing some mad damage. We end up detecting our Sylveon. We're just looking to get rid of Palafin here. So let's see what Palafin goes for. Play rough comes into us. Easy soaks. Easy soaks. Palafin, you gotta be going after Sylveon here. Double down. Wow. You double down. We're able to eat. We're gonna be able to take out Palafin here, which is big time for us. And Wild, Wild Charge is easy KO. So we pick up KO. And I think we survived there, right? Did we survive the recoil? We do. We do survive the recoil. So Amoogus comes out here, and Amoogus is obviously the slowest Pokemon. Obviously, it's the slowest Pokemon. Um, huh? It's a play here. We definitely want to go for a Heavy Slam, and just a Hyper Voice, right? And just a straight Hyper Voice, correct? Yeah, that's our play. We're doing it. We're doing it. Heavy Slam and Hyper Voice. Jigglypuff does go first, and I don't know if Jigglypuff has enough attacking power to take out my Hariyama. Because if it's just Rock and Play Rough, we might be able to eat up a Play Rough. It doesn't hit as hard, but that was a good terror from us. I'm kind of upset that I did uh, protect myself down there when he doubled down on my uh, Iron Hands. Such a good first battle. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Seriously, if you are, leave a like on today's video. Amoogus ends up going for the Protect. That's fine. That's, that's totally fine. Considering we are Hyper Voicing and going for that. And we do not eat up that Play Rough. We do not eat up that player off. I know it did like maybe like 20 last time. <laughs> so he ends up picking picking up the KO onto us. We're gonna take some life orb damage here. Hyper Voice is gonna come out here. We're gonna get blocked. And we get back out Jilly. Oh. One more Hyper Voice does KO, but can Sylveon eat up whatever their Jigglypuff has to offer? I don't know. It's close. It's close. We get to bring out you and you're not going to do much here. <laughs> You're not going to do much here. I mean, we can try. Actually, we really don't want to trick him here. We'd rather just get off that. And we'll see how this one plays out here. We're still asleep. Of course we are. That's lovely. Just what we wanted. And he's going to disable. <laughs> oh. And he's going to put me to sleep, aren't you? Oh, come on now. Come on. I'm tired of this. Hey, right, Pompa. Oh, HP back up. HP back up. Uh, do we pop a parasol? <laughs> I do not. I simply do not want Trick Mirror. I'm gonna go for this Helping Hand Terror Blast. Screw it. We coming after you. We're disabled. <laughs> of course you disable my moves. Of course you do that. So we're going for Helping Hand Terror Blast. It should automatically switch to Fairy due to our Pixelate ability. And we do have Quick Attack if need be. I might try to pop parasol. 
Might be my play. The Psyche Fangs isn't going to do anything. He would beat me. With play rough. I do wake up. Awesome. Dope. Helping him get a fly here. I wonder what Jiggles is going for here. What's your Jiggles going for? Play rough. Oh, we're dying very, very soon. We need to Terra Blast KO. Does KO? That's the real question. It does. It doesn't DKO. It doesn't DKO. And now the play here. Now the play here is going to be protect and pop a trick room. And yeah. Just so my Sylveon can get off a shot. That's my play all day. We set up the trick room. My Pokemon become faster. Wow. <laughs> First match so far. It's still coming out to the wire. I could also help you hand Terra Blast. That'll probably do the most damage that we possibly can. The detect comes out perfectly. Dope, dope, dope. And now we get off Trick Room. And now my girl Sylveon's faster. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now we get off a nice chunk of damage here. Nice chunk of damage. Hey, how it says Psychic Fang is super effective. It's, it's not. It's not. From here, it's definitely helping hand play into a Terra Blast that so would do the most damage. And yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think it kills the Screamtail, but it chunks up some damage, which is really good for us. It chunks up some damage, which is good for us. Oh, it almost KOs. That's beautiful. Brings it down that much. Totally fine. That that that, that gets us to win. He Parasomes. We quick attack. That's GG, yo. Let's go. The plays from your boy at the end there to detect. Pop the Trick Room. Roll out from there. And the Terror Blast from Sylveon. So good thing I did bring Sylveon. Good thing I did bring this Sylveon. Really, really helps us out. Really, really helps us out here. So I'm just going to Psychic Fang. I'm just going to Quick Attack. It's game, set, match. Sylveon clutches it up in match number two. And we end up winning. But he's going for the pair. Yo, I'm going to cry if this thing lands three protects. Because I know that's its play. 100% it's its play. No shot we lose this. <laughs> that's the only way we lose this, right? He Parasongs pops three protects. And lands them all. Only way. He needs to land two more protects. I mean, it's a good last-ditch effort. Like, you might as well take it. I would rather do that. I feel like you have more of a chance of winning than, like, dodging attacks and stuff. Screamtail can't even land a second protect. That would have been wild. That would have been wild. But that's actually a good strategy right there. I really do dig it. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 1-0 to get us started. What a first match. Let's hop into our second. Look for back-to-back -back victories. Would you look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Second match coming at you guys. We're going up against the same exact opponent. Or oh, not same opponent. Same team, I should say. I don't think it's the same opponent. Might be. I don't remember the last person's name. But same team. Screamtail, Fluttermane, Gothitelle. You guys know the deal with that one. How should I lead this one? How should I play? I definitely want to pop Trick Room. Trick Room is going to be our best friend. So I am going to end up leading you right here. I might end up leading... Yeah, I think. I just think same lead is going to be perfect for us. Annihilate, Screamtail. Works really, really well. I definitely want to bring in a Pokemon to kind of counter up onto a Moogus, considering that thing was a pain last time. So, Torkoal, let's go. Get on over here, Torkoal. You're, you are our call. Final Pokemon. It's got to be Sylveon, right? It's got to be Sylveon. Because we get to Rasslize in a rock that can really counter Arcanine. I feel like Arcanine is one of the only Pokemon we want to uh, counter here. And it is also special attack in Sylveon. In this case, so it will not be affected by Intimidate. So I'm really liking this squad. We're going in with same squad. Actually, is the same squad? No, we had Iron Hands in the last one. But Torkoal. We're bringing Torkoal this time just so we don't have to deal with the sleeps. I've been getting spored ridiculous amounts this week. And it is, it's kind of getting to me. It's starting to be annoying. We're just like, dude, am I really seeing this again on the rank ladder? But looks like we are. Looks like we are. Spore is back. It's back in action. I mean, I have Spore myself, but you don't see me just spamming it all day. I could go into my Brute Bonnet, who's super slow. And just rocking Spore. And I could just do it all day. But I choose not to. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to come on here. And real, like some people hop on Pokemon for like an hour a day. Because that's all they have. And they're just like, yo, let me play. I don't want to be that guy that ruins it with Spores. <laughs> I do not want to be that person. Sometimes I'll use it if I, need, if I need to get a win. But I will not spam it like 50 times like our opponents do it to me. Well, let's see. Fluttermane and Gothitelle is going to end up getting out here for a lead. Um, This seems like we just straight up. Go for the trick room if we can. Actually, I might terrasize you. Into grass. And go for the trick room. And the reason I want to terrasize into grass is I do not want that. Uh, I do not want that. Uh, 
that uh, shadow ball to just KO me, right? I need my screen tail to be able to set up a trick room. So we go into straight grass. I'm terrestrializing. I'm doing a little terrestrializing action. And we will go from there. The Goth Tail ends up protecting. That's fine. As long as we get up Trick Room. I'm really fine with that. As long as we get off Trick Room. So Protect comes out from Goth Tail. That's fine. We're pretty much guaranteed to get off Trick Room. Unless you're imprisoning. No. He goes for Shadow Ball. And that's exactly why we Terrestrialize. 100% the reason why we Terrestrialize. And now Trick Room comes out and about. So now we have Trick Room set up. Which is really, really good for us. We can't Shadow Tag Swap. So we're forced to go into another Gambit. And at this point, I think we just... Attack you, right? And then we just gambit if we can, right? Hopefully we can land on Gothel without taking damage. But Fluttermane is definitely slower than us, so... I think Gleam just flies from, from their end. We'll see what Gothel wants to do, right? I, I would think it would have faked me out there, but I'm super surprised it didn't. I think I was just so worried about the, uh, the gambit coming in hot here. That works out fine for us. That works out fine. So my Jigglypuff's gonna go first. It's just gonna pop a nice little Psychic Fang. So we're just chipping up damage. And we're trying to get rid of our, our Annihilate here. Psychic comes in here. He going after. Go after my Jiggles. That's fine. You can go you can do damage to my Jiggles. We get off some damage on the Fluttermane. Fluttermane goes for Moonblast. Go after my Jiggles too. No, you go after him. That's fine. Gambit's taking us out anyway. We're choice into it. We could not have used a different move. And we chip up a little bit of damage on Goth though. But more importantly, guess who we got out, ladies and gents? The boy, the one, the only, the one and only, <laughs> Twerkle. Bang, bang, bring him out, bring him out. The pro synthesis boosts that thing's speed, it's no problem, we are in Trick Room. And I boost my, what did I just boost? My special defense, okay, so that's good. I'm with it, I'm with it. So from here, it just seems pretty simple for a helping hand, right? Helping hand eruption. And we choice into it. It seems like the best play we can make. It seems like hands down the best, the best play. Helping hands down. <laughs> the best play to make. Or the simplest. The simplest too. So this should be no problem double kill. You have no first time priority, I believe. No wide guard action. Protect comes out. That's fine. Deal with that. And okay, double protect. That's fine. We still have plenty of turns off in Trick Room. We're gonna do it again. Screw it. I'll do it again. Don't make me do it again. <laughs> love turtle. Yo, I love turtles. Like, in real life, I used to have a bunch of turtles, like, as pets. And they were sick. Like, I have a big backyard, and I can find... Well, I used to. I haven't found any in a while. I used to just, Little boxer turtles used to just crawl up my backyard. And I would, and I would just pick them up, and i throw them in my little sandbox cage. And they would live there. I had, I had a good amount. I had a good amount. I had, like, six. So they all escaped. They all got out. Because they, like... Dug their way under, like the cage, they got out. But I was, I was, I was, I was a good guy. I was a good guy. Gave them fruits all the time. Always made sure they had water, all that good stuff. But, but, but back to the action. Done talking about turtles. He's gonna swap the Arcanine, which it's fair. But I feel like Arcanine still takes a big chunk of damage here, right? Intimidate comes out here. It's fine. We're special attacking. Oh, and I forgot we're choice spec. I forgot we're choice spec on top of that. So God tell is gone. We might even do half HP to this uh, Arcanine. We might even do that. This is going to be big damage. Oh my lord. Yo, Torkoal. Torx, man. Torkoal, chill. Chill on him, Torx. Chill on him, Torx. Chill on them, Torx. The Fluttermane comes out here and Amoongus. It's definitely going to be a double protect kind of play. Or he might just spore me. He might end up sporing me. But from here, you know, I'm just going to say Psychic Fang into you. And just erupt again. The reason I'm not helping Handy is because I know that this can actually KO. And he's just going to double protect. That's fine. I'm going to definitely try to pop a trick on next turn. The double protect flies out here. Uh, I might swap Torkoal here. I might swap Torkoal here. The reason I might swap Torkoal is because they are going to do damage to me somehow, some way. And if I swap into Sylveon, Sylveon can A, take the Spore. If they are going to Spore me. And B, we can reset our, our choice specs if need be, so. 
I just think it's a simple play. The swap of Torquey. We're gonna hope we're gonna hope they can't KO my uh my Jiggly. The Jigglypuff Terror type is really, really good. But yo, know, Spore's back out and about. Torkoal just dumped on like let's not forget about that. Torkoal just dumped on an Arcanine. Full HP. That was ridiculous. I was like, okay, maybe you could do half and we could just two tap it and we can be fine from there. But nah. Torkoal said we don't we only need one turn. Erupt it in the sun. Oh, we can actually reset the sun too. That's a good swap for us too. But we erupt it in the sun, choice spec style. Helping hand boost on top of that stab. It was just GG. It was just GG. But he ends up terrasalizing the Moogus into straight dark type. So the dark type comes out here. I mean, you would have died to that eruption anyway. You would have been gone, kind sir. And Moonblast is going to fly into the Sylveon slot. So this was a great swap from us. And you can't spore me. I'm grass. I'm grass type. So I get off another trick room. This is exactly why I swapped. 100% why I swapped. So now we're sitting here. I'm just going to... I'm not too worried about the Moogus, because Torkoal should be slower than, um, than that of Moogus. So from here, I can just kind of just start getting after uh, Fluttermane. And I guess we'll just keep trying to pop Hyper Voices until we bring out our Torkoal. And then once we get our Torkoal, it's Eruption slash Heat Wave GG, right? Loving it. Loving it. So great Trick Room battle. This is probably the best Trick Room Team 4 Series, too. It's absolutely amazing. Super, super strong. Trick Tail's insane. Especially at setting up Trick Room. It's not like crazy on damage, but it's so bulky. It is ridiculous. It's HP stat's good. It's special defense. It's defense stat. It's amazing. And his terror type on this is really, really good. He ends up going for a Spore for some reason. Um, grass type it doesn't affect me. It's typing is so good. The so second Fangs pop out here. Scream tells us to see you later. Get a crit on top of that. Get a crit. And now it's just us up against this Amoongus. Now I want to kill this thing so bad. Because I hate Amoonguses right now. I hate them. I hate Amoonguses. <laughs> I hate Amoonguses. And we can't really do much, but I'll set up a Parasong. And I'll just go for a... Will Terra Blast do more? Oh no. Hyper Voice. More base power. But I think our opponent cancels. Yep, they cancel the battle. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-0 and oh for today's video. Final match coming at you guys. And look at this. No Amoongus. We can relax for a little bit. Thank you. Tired of dealing with Spore Moonguses. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a perfect record. But we're going up against a Palmot and a Rangaroo team. A Rangaroo can counter Trick Room. And I think that is what they're going to want to go into. Because it might be rocking in Prison Trick Room. So I'm going to want to like fake it out, right? But then if you lead Palmot, that could be a problem too. Ah, hmm. It's a Jeans player. What is Jeans player? I definitely want to go into my fake out use with Iron Hands. Um, thinking Jiggly, right? We got it. We got to lead Jiggly. 222 HP. Wow. That is ridiculously high. So Gambit wouldn't even KO it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go. We gotta go in with you. And I could actually. I could Gambit. You know, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna go this route with it. You know, screw it. We haven't used Brute Bonnet yet, so I'm gonna bring in Brute Bonnet. <laughs> even though like Sylveon or Torkoal might be a little bit better, Brute Bonnet's gonna be a lot of fun. I love that Pokemon, so we're gonna bring it in here. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna end up leading the Gambit again. Not the Gambit, the, uh, the Annihilate, but it has Final Gambit. You guys get the gist. But yeah, check out that trainer card. Little Vivlion. Or that's not Vivlion. That's uh, something Moth. I can't even think of its name. Something Moth. Venomoth? I think it's Venomoth. Yeah, just chilling in the background. They end up leading the Palmot. And we have a Beery Berry if they have Terra Steel for that Worm Moon. So this should... Maybe... Where do we go after here? I mean, I could take out one of the Pokemon, and I might as well just Gambit you, right? Might as well Gambit you and go for Trick Room. Might as well just Gambit onto that War Moon. I would love to just get rid of War Moon. Because he can't fake me out. He's probably going to use his fake out onto the Jigglypuff. So we'll see what they want to do. It's up to Rasslize. That's got to be the War Moon. And that kind of sucks because you're dead. You're dead. Like, War Moon's dead, right? It doesn't have enough HP to survive this. Fake out comes in there. That's fine. And you outspeed my choice scarf. Hold up. First of all, you outspeed my choice scarf. Annihilate? That's wild. But, okay, we get rid of it. That is, that is absurd. That is absurd right there. You outspeed me? But... But on top of that, we got to showcase how fast that Jigglypuff, or how bulky that Jigglypuff is. That's big time. That's big time. And now I can bring out you. 
I can fake out. Probably going to fake out the left side because I don't think Palma can do enough damage to take out my Jiggles. And we'll be fine. We'll be, we'll be fine. Yeah, we have to fake it out, right? 100%. 100% we got to fake it out. Fake out this little booger. And we're going for that chicken. Are going for that chicken. So we'll see what our opponent wants to do here. But I feel like we are in a top tier spot. Unless this thing's Cobra Cloak, which could be annoying. He's going to end up nuzzling me. And I swear, I swear, if I lose a turn to being paralyzed, I'm going to be very upset. It is going to be Cobra Cloak. Okay. That, that's awful. Unless it has an ability. Does that, it might have an ability that maybe I, I missed out on. That's a solid taunt from him. Uh... They're worried about the Palmont too much? Not really, right? I do want to dump on the Palmont. I could Terrasilize here and just Heavy Slam. Not a bad play. I think it's going to be a play. This is, cause this is why I wish I had Drain Punch. No, screw it. We're just going to Wild Charge this thing. I'm not going to worry about the Palmont too much. And I could Parasong. I'm just going to straight up Psychic Fangs. Try to tee off some damage on this thing. Thunder Punch comes in hot. We're able to soak, which is good. And this thing's going to instruct, so we get off two Thunder Punches. You little biscuit. You little booger. Thun so Thunder Punch flying again. So he counters up on my Trick Room. Hurts the soul. And we'll go from there. So no Trick Room for me, but we got some big time hitters here. We can Spore if need be. That's the big time damage coming out for that. And we bring out our Brute Bonnet. Which I can straight up Thrasilize, but I don't could sucker punch that thing as well. Could tear in the dark and just sucker punch. Uh, but from here, I just want to wild charge you down. And I could go into bull seed. I could be seed. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to bull seed here. I can always sucker punch it afterwards, but I'm guessing it's sash right now. So I really don't want to sucker punch it. But we'll see what our... Oh, no. I No, no. We shouldn't have Thrasilized. He's going to nuzzle. I was going to say. If I Thrasilize, then, then he's going to hit me with a close combat and I just die. By going in straight dark. But I'm paralyzed here. He's going to end up taunting me. So I can't spore. So good thing we are going for attacking moves. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. Wild Charge takes out the, the orangutan. Get them all in out of here. And we start B-seeding here. Unless we're paralyzed, but hopefully not. I have a weird feeling we are, though. Cool, we're not. BC coming in hot here. How many can we land? Can, you get, can we get a little bit of RNG here and land five? Of course. Of course. My, my RNG sucks. Of course. Of course. I get I go to sleep for three turns and I only land two bullet seeds. The lowest amount you could possibly land. But a Nihilate comes out here. And I, I can't Thrasilize and Steel. I simply can't. Uh, I can't Thrasilize in Dark. Our best move is to just not Thrasilize at all. It's just not to Thrasilize at all. And we just go in the Wild Charge here and hope that the Sucker Punch can actually KO. Actually, I mean, we could, but... I mean, fighting moves are already super effective on those. We might as well Thrasilize in Dark. Just so we can rip up. Mm. This sucks. I really don't know what to do here. No, we're going to do this. Actually, yeah, we are. We're going to wild charge into you. And I'm going to trash slice just so the sucker punch does as much damage as possible can. Might as well get some value out of it. Because he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna hit me with a dream punch anyway. Or close combat. One or the other. So we're just going to try to sucker punch and get rid of this thing. We're not getting rid of it. We'll do as much damage as we possibly can. It'd be nice if we get rid of it, but I don't think the group on it has a strength for that. The Sucker Punch comes through, and what are you going for? It's failing. What are you going for? This thing reviving Pokemon. He's reviving Pokemon. Going for a bulk up. Oh my lord, I'm done here. I'm done. Defense boost on my physical attackers. Let's get a crit here. Wild Charge coming hot here. Oh my god, that thing's way too bulky. It's way too bulky. Any any res. Any res. Any res with Paul Mott. God dang, Paul Mott. Yo, revival blessings. It's 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 that move. Looks like we're going into a close combat here to get rid of you. And am I am I still taunted? I am. So I guess we'll go for another Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch is failing again. He's bulking up again, dude. <laughs> Smart play by him. Thunder Punch coming in hot here. Chipping up some damage. And he's going to bulk up. So I need to put that thing to sleep and get some crits. 
Something like that. Let's kind of going to finish off the Palmot. Saying bye bye to him. And man, this is tough. This is tough, but I'll take a 2 1 winning record. I'll take it all day. This was a solid battle, especially because we did not have Trick Room out and about. Our Pokemon still fared up pretty well here. This thing has leftovers. It is plus two on defense. The only way we're killing this thing is if we get a crit or a trash slides into a bad typing. But I'm going to try to put it to sleep, obviously, right? 100% got to put it to sleep. He's going to bring his app back out of Rang Rangaroo. Yeah, he's just going to taunt me again. He's just going to taunt me again. So, you know what? I'm just going to take it out with a wild charge. And I'm just going to go for a sucker punch. But he's taunting me again. Or he's just going to KO me. <laughs> this game sucks, man. <laughs> this game sucks. <laughs> Let's see what he ends up doing. Now, hopefully, he goes, goes for taunt and he gives us a shot. I just feel like that that uh, Annihilate is just way too powerful, right? Way too powerful. Unless we get a crit or he terrestrializes into a bad typing. So he's bulking up again. Like, <laughs> he's just bulking up. <laughs> He's just bulking up. Let's see what Oranguru does. You taunt me again? You would have to, right? Double bulk up. Ah! Uh, not, not bad if... If he allows us to put him to sleep. There's just there's a slight chance here. We can rely on a crit. We can maybe get a crit. And I mean, Heavy Slam... Does that... Based on defense, because I'm gonna go for the sport here, because my taunt's gone. My taunt is gone. My taunt is gone. Wall charge is gonna do nothing. Wonder how much this is gonna do. We're gonna go for the sport here. Watch, it's gonna be lumbar. I'm gonna be so upset. This thing, this thing stats is five and five. It's plus five on attack, but we're we're putting it to sleep. Watch, it's gonna be lumbar. I have a feeling it's going to be Lumberry. Oh my god, we do no damage. We need crits. We need crits. We need critical hits. <laughs> we need critical hits. So we put him to sleep. Please don't be buried. Please don't be lumped. Oh wait, why would I think it's lumped? It's leftovers, obviously. <laughs> okay. So the only way we win this is if we get crits. Only way. One way and one way only. We'll go for bullet seeds. Because I'm just trying to chip up some damage here. Well, we're not even going to do enough damage to probably, like, get rid of these leftovers. Right? Because watch how much little damage we do. We probably do one damage per bullet seed. Wild Charge is going to do four damage. Look at that. We take just as much recoil damage at this point. And we need some crits here. The BC flying. Get it, bullet seed. Look at this chip up damage. Oh, yeah, bullet seed. Why am I hitting two times? Get it together. Get it together. I'll tell you, we just need a crit. If we get a crit, we have a chance of winning this game. We need a crit, though. We need a crit. You one turn? Dude, I get three turns all day. He rage fists me. I need crit here to win this game. That sucks. Like, come on now. One turn sleep. Just earlier today, I had three turn sleeps. That's all I get is three turn sleeps. They get one turn sleep. I can't even land three bullet seats. And this dude gets one turn sleeps. So give me a crit here. No, no shot. So that's going to be GG's. He's just going to rage fist me. I'll go for a wild charge one more time. Maybe, just maybe, we eat up a Rage Fist and we get a crit and we win this game. But chances are no. Chances are no. And there's the Rage Fist. That's going to be game. No shot we survived that, right? Yeah, not a chance. Not a chance. But 2-1 for today's video. Solid third and final battle. That Annihilate just overpowered us. We ended up losing. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, 2-1 for today's video, and I do believe this team to be one of the best Trick Room teams in Series 2. So if you guys are Trick Room fanatics, like to use Trick Room teams, they are definitely really, really strong. I consider renting this team, because like I said, one of the best Trick Room teams out there. Stream Tail is one of the best Trick Room setters for Series 2, so pair it up with all these Pokemon, it's top tier. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.